What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Bosco Explorer. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to my channel. Um, you know, in the last video, um, I had an engaging discussion with two people about um, if it is good for Africans in the diaspora to return, or if um, Africans even um, home should travel abroad. Well, um, in this video is more like the part two. I'm discussing with Godfrey Asenga from Tanzania and also Nigeria um, about if um, it's good for Africans in the diaspora to return back to Africa and make impact in the life, just like they've been called upon by mainstream media and some other influential YouTube channels. So, um, yeah, not to waste your time. The next you're gonna see is the video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. No, in this video, the lightning was not so perfect because I self-recorded it without really previewing. So, <laughs> apologies for that. But I enjoy the information because it's so vital. That's why I post. Cheers. Don't touch that down. Feel it. This has been a very um, lucrative topic and it's important for young African youth. Yeah. That's why I really see it as a key, you understand? So what do you think about Africans, especially the youth living in Africans and then Africans living in Europe? Well, uh, basically it's always a very good thing to experience a lot of places in this world you know to, to travel to gain a lot of experience mm -hmm. you know now the world is smaller than it used to be yeah because of social media because of tv because of the internet you know? Definitely. so a lot of things that we used to aspire to do like back in the 90s or we used to watch it only on tv but now we can we, we see more content We've traveled around more. Yeah. You know, I mean, even though you see things on TV, it's best to experience it in person as Definitely. well. So it's always a very, very good thing to like travel. I mean, Africa is beautiful. I love Africa. Okay. You know, Europe too has its charm. America, everywhere that you go to in the world. Yeah. And you've been, you've been to everywhere. You've been, <laughs> you've been to every continent. You, you, you know, you're born in Africa. You've been to Asia, America, Europe. So you're way more widely traveled than I am. Yeah. So, you know, but in the little that I've done, mm -hmm. I can say that it's been a worthwhile experience. Okay. And it's something that every... You know, young person at least should at least aspire to do. You know, okay. Sometimes. So in it's important, like if if you're living in Africa, like it's uh, it's very important for you to experience other part of the world. Yes. That's a very key point, especially when it, you're not like depending on what they told you. Yeah. Exactly. Right now, you've experienced and you can know what is better. And I, I yeah. think it's a very vital point. And then I want to ask, like, um, life conditions. Uh -huh. living in Africa, trying to survive from the scratch. Not that yeah. you have a father or your uncle or someone who has really, like, who is helping you, supporting you to rise. Rather, you know, like being on your own, trying to survive from the scratch in Africa and then try to survive in Europe, maybe as an, in, your, in your early 20s or early 30s. And then do you think it's, it is worth it that an African youth should move to Europe or America or wherever in the Western world to, uh, you know, make a living, look for greener pasture and then, uh, you know, and live there? Or do you think that it is much more better for them to live in Africa and build Africa for Africans? Ah, oh, that's a very good question. But it's a very loaded question as well. Okay. Well, yes, from the, from the perspective of experience, mm -hmm. it's good to at least travel, okay. even more so live and study in a foreign country if you can, you know, just to compare experiences, to compare systems, you know, all over the world. Uh, because if you want to make a, an impact, more so like a long lasting impact, something that really makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. from different perspectives and different paradigms, yeah, you need to understand um, how other societies function, you know, mm -hmm. things that work in, in and across the world. Because the applications now, the world is literally, it, it's, a lot of things has narrowed down now in the world. Yeah. You know, technology is moving faster. You know, so the more, the, the higher you can go, the higher you can experience, the, be the better I think you can apply it in every society, even in Africa. Africa now is very developed as well in a lot of the countries in Africa. Yeah. It's yeah. quite developed like as well. Rwanda, like Rwanda, like uh, yeah. Uganda. Is yeah. it Rwanda, South Africa? Yeah, South Africa, Morocco. Yeah, Morocco. I mean, even Nigeria, Tunisia. Abuja, you know, there's some places you're going to go to. You. Uh, so, um, yeah, I have another question. Um, so, you do you um, 
think that when maybe an African person have um, had these experiences in other parts of the world, mm -hmm. maybe learn or through school and then walk and then see, uh, gather these experiences and also gather some level of um, uh, financial fortunes. You think it's better <laughs> for them to go back and then give back to the society or develop the country? Or do you think that they should live their life wherever they find um, it, you know, more um, functionable and more reasonable? What do you think? Well, you know what? In principle, it's always good to go back to your country and develop your country. Uh -huh. In principle, yes, that's always the best thing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, sometimes when people travel to America, Europe, and then they compare the facilities or how the country is running and, yeah. you know, maybe things seem a little bit attractive. Yeah. Now they don't want to go back after they spend a year or two. I understand yeah. it. But, yeah, in principle, it's always good to at least have some presence in your home country to you know lay something down and i think it, it's also something that it, it happens with time it happens with with age depending on what you're interested in for the most part i think maybe politics is a way to influence the society in a way mm -hmm. if you want to go that far mm -hmm. you know social causes and all that and even business more so i like the business aspect but the conditions have to be right to some extent. Okay. So it's always good to, you know, always go back mm -hmm. home at some point and, you know, try to interact with society. You know, but you know what, yeah, I, I understand that in some African countries there is economic deprivation, there is a lot of lack, there's a lot of poverty, to be honest, you know, mm -hmm. people are not finding it easy at all. Yeah. Um, it's spilled over in, in some other countries too, even in Europe as well, you know. Yeah. In the past two years, it's not been easy, the pandemic, you know, people yeah. have been in a, yeah. in a whole of uh, problems and everything. And even right now, there's still some kind of, um, I don't know, I hear in the news that there might be some inflation coming next yeah. year and some <laughs> yeah. depression, the common depression. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it, it's, it's, it's more widespread now, you know, across the continents. But, hmm, that's a hard one, man. Mm -hmm. but, but, but I think, well, as far as those conditions are concerned, you know, I look at it like this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Our generation, you know, 10 years ago, we probably didn't have as much influence as much as we did, it's something we kind of like, just we think about it in terms of futuristic terms, like, you know what, in the future, we're gonna do this and that. Yeah. But now the future that we talk about yeah, is fast coming up yeah. on us. So a lot of our generation is beginning to take office, get into positions of power, of influence and mm -hmm. everything. So now it seems like some of our generation are kind of like, we now have somewhat of a more direct impact now. We yeah, have power yeah. now. than futuristic assumptions. Than, you know, than what we used to assume back yeah. in the past. So I think we, we just have to dive into it. Bro. At some point, we just have to get into it. Okay. There's no assurance, as it were, but we have to try to... As much as we can. As, as much as we can to make it happen, mm -hmm. to network with people. And now those people are not as far as we used to, we, we used to think, like, okay, they might be our parents' generation and everything, yeah. but now they might be like, uh, you know, maybe, maybe 10, 15 years you know, yeah. in front of us. Yeah. So they are a bit more accessible to us right now, I think. Okay. So we are more accessible to making a change than we think right now, okay. or than we used to be, yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, my final question. Are you calling on maybe more of African youths to come over to Europe, especially Germany, where everything is perfect and, you know, functioning exceptionally? Or, like, is it like a, a call for African youths who really want to travel for in life, yeah. in their career or whatever? to maybe travel abroad to experience these things and then before they could maybe decide if they are staying back in Africa or investing or whatever. What do you think? Or are you are you maybe calling already on the ones who are already in Europe, America and mm -hmm. different places to go back home and then work on development of Africa? What do you think? Well, the truth is that back then it used to be a dream. Traveling abroad used to be a dream, but now it's more like a... It's not so much of a luxury right now, to be honest, you know, I think it's more like a necessity for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of people who have traveled, you know, so now people even hardly think of it as staying back or going back home. People actually have presence. They have a presence in both places, but at home and yeah, abroad, yeah. people kind of just move around now than faster yeah, than they used yeah, to be. Yeah. yeah. So it's, 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 it's interesting now. It's definitely a good thing. Mm -hmm. It's, um, it's just, I kind of look at it like, it depends on the quality of the presence now. Mm -hmm. You know, so now it, things have equalized to a large extent. Now it's easier to move around. Okay. Yeah. So now I think um, a lot of people have experienced both you know, staying home, staying abroad, uh -huh. and everything. So I, so I think now it's more like um, the task now is to increase the quality of the presence or the quality of the impact that we are trying to make. Okay. You know, there's been scores and tons of experiences and people writing in books and being here, yeah. they've been there. Mm -hmm. They want to do this, want to do that, you know, governments, you know, people running campaigns all over the place. Yeah. Like that. 
we've seen a lot of it already. Yeah. So now we just want to say in terms of real time, in terms of real impact, yeah. real presence. Uh -huh. you know. But yeah, of course, I'll advise people to travel. I'll, I'll advise a lot of you to travel. You know, it's uh, it's something that can't really be explained to you. Mm -hmm. You know, as a young person in, in this life and time nowadays, mm -hmm. you know, everything is accessible to you online. A lot of things on Instagram, TikTok, if snap of a finger, you see everywhere you want to see. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it really helps. And I think that it can either make you more satisfied mm -hmm. and not wanting to pursue more, or it can make you more agile and more hungry, you know, to more hungry to actually want to do more for yeah, yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's the best way to go okay so african youth out there um i think it's also very worthwhile to travel you know despite okay. all they call call back home <laughs> all the whole thing that we should stay back in africa i believe that if government also are doing their own part to make sure the basic amenities are being kept created for yeah. average africans for uh, equal and fair sharing and also opportunities i think m most africa will do better at home but when you see things not uh, uh, within your reach, I think you look out for where you can get it, uh, you know, at your reach, and then you can mm -hmm. be able to make most of your dream come true. I'm Bosco, and uh, it's nice having you on this. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll see you next time. Don't don't forget to like, share, and, and subscribe. subscribe. My name is Godfrey, and you're watching Bosco Explores YouTube channel. Please keep watching, like, and subscribe, and don't touch that down.